everyone welcome to one more video for today's video i'm going to share with you some of the things that i had to get used to when i arrived to denmark first let's talk about the danish obsession with bikes in denmark bikes are a way of life you will see more bikes than cars on the road i also had to embrace the cycling culture and it's actually amazing for your health and for the environment if you move to denmark or if you come to denmark for vacation be prepared to hop on a bike and ride your way through this beautiful street next on the list personal space or should i say the lack of it or should i say or should i in Denmark, personal space is minimal, especially in crowded areas, public transportation or busy streets. When there are many people on the street, other people sometimes don't realize that they need to step aside just a little. And I had to get used to often bumping into one another because I'm as distracted as they <laughs> It's part of Danish life, you eventually learn to adapt. Now, let's discuss something that you probably are not expecting, at least I wasn't, and that's the quality of the water here in Denmark. One thing I absolutely love in Denmark is the quality of the tap water. And I wasn't quite expecting this because in Portugal, quality of the water is a little bit different, and water usually doesn't taste good. I believe in general it's because plumbing in Portugal tends to be a little old, and poorly maintained but yeah here i don't need to buy bottled water i just i don't need to buy bottled water i just fill up my glass of water straight from the tap and i'm good to go and believe me i'm very picky with the taste of water next on the list the dark days bum, bum, bum. The dark days. Embrace yourselves for this one. Winter in Denmark means very short days and long nights. And Danes combat this darkness with Uga traditions like lighting some candles, enjoying warm beverages. I have to be honest, I love this culture of the candles, the yellow lights, but indeed. The sunlight is really important. I had to start taking some vitamins when I arrived to the country because you quickly start to feel the lack of sunlight. Let's just... before I start a fire. <laughs> One more thing that I had to get used to is the hours of the stores here in Denmark. It's quite common here for stores to close between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. And this compared to the stores in Portugal is really different because in Portugal stores usually close at 8 p.m. Clothes stores and big supermarkets at 11 p.m. It was quite a difference and I really had to adapt to this and I'm not fully adapt yet to be honest. But I also learned that this early closing time is part of Denmark's work-life balance and reflects a cultural emphasis on spending time with family and friends. One more thing that when I arrived here I just loved it is recycling cans pays half. Yeah, in Portugal this doesn't make any sense because we just threw the cans in the recycle bin but here in Denmark you can save your cans and get your money back it's true Denmark has a fantastic recycle system where you can get your money back for returning beverage cans there are a lot of machines for that purpose in a lot of the supermarkets spread all over the country so there you have it some of the things that I had to adapt when I arrived to Denmark from embracing the bike culture to the darkest days. And I have to be honest, the darkest days is the more difficult thing for me. <laughs> it has been an adventure. If you live in Denmark or any other unique place, please share your experience with me down here in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you want to. You can also follow me on Instagram. And that's all for today's video. Bye!